The Moog Mini Moog is perhaps best known for its filter. It includes the 24 decibel per octave ladder filter that Bob Moog designed. This filter adds certain aural qualities to the sound that it's filtering that are very pleasing to the ear, which is why Moog synthesizers became so popular in comparison to other synthesizers after more synthesizers came out. Even though the filter cutoff frequency is all the way open, this filter is still coloring the sound to a degree in a pleasing way. As we decrease the cutoff frequency, the high frequencies are removed from the sawtooth output that's coming from oscillator one. To the point where no frequencies are coming through. And here, in the midst of the point where frequencies are being removed, there is a character that this filter is adding to the sound that is pleasing. It's a saturated, uh, warm sound. There seems to be an accentuation in the low end and a sort of warm, frothy, milky sound that is added to the sawtooth output. This is the ARP 2600. This particular model of the ARP 2600 is featuring the 4012 filter, which uh, is an ARP filter that was designed and modeled after the Moog filter. So it, uh, it does have some distinctions, but in general, it has a similar sound at times to various Moog filters. In any case, let's take a look at its operation. In this instance, in the ARP instance, uh, first of all, we can see I have VCO3 up, which is a sawtooth wave. This slider, marked initial filter frequency, is the cutoff point slider. Beneath it is a fine-tuned slider that we'll explain in a moment. Beneath that is the resonance. Let's have a listen to what this filter sounds like. That's what the filter sounds like. It has that sort of saturated warmth that Moog filters have. Um, we're about halfway closed here. And that is the cutoff frequency of the ARP 2600. The CS15 has a different filter architecture than we've seen thus far in the synthesizers we've looked at. The CS15 has a 12 decibel per octave filter. This is compared to, like, for example, a 24 decibel per octave filter on a Moog Mini Moog. The difference is the slope of attenuation is less severe. This lends itself a, a different sort of sound, but an extremely usable sound. Let's listen to the filter cutoff sweep of the CS15. It should be noted that synthesizers like the Korg MS-20 also have a 12 decibel per octave filter, so it's kind of a similar sound. The other difference in this architecture is that the resonance is not self-oscillating on the CS-15. Um, Yamaha designed it so when you have the resonance all the way up, it is just at the point of self-oscillation and not self-oscillating. Um, and so we don't have the effects that are available with a self-oscillating filter, but it still has a nice timbre. Here, let's listen. And that's one of the best things about the Yamaha CS15 is that unique 12 decibel per octave sound and the limitations of the resonance, which lend it a very specific sound that um, you can hear on some other synthesizers as well. Next, let's change the color of that oscillator mix by running it through a filter.
We can also add resonance. 